Good afternoon, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland, and in this video, I'm uh, explaining why I like Michelle Obama, but I don't think she's got a good chance of becoming president, much though I would like to see that uh, transpire. Well, Michelle Obama, what do we know about her? So she's from Chicago, uh, a year younger than her husband. She went to Princeton, where she studied French, but uh, never hear her speaking French, oddly. The thing is, in American politics, being fluent in another language seems to be a disadvantage. When it emerged that John Kerry um, spoke fluent French, he kept that to himself. That was used against him by Newt Gingrich, despite Gingrich having done a PhD on French history. So presumably he reads French. Um, and uh, Ted Cruz seems to boast that he can't speak Spanish, his father's language. Um, there was a time when knowledge was considered an advantage uh, in American politics, whereas now it's the opposite. Anyway, Michelle Obama, she's cerebral, a lawyer, was a top lawyer for Chicago Hospital, um, and uh, she went to Harvard Law School. She bears her erudition lightly. But she's never showing off. She's a very civilized person, seems to be very courteous. I have to admit, I started out disliking her, and I've, I've seen some lengthy orations by her. I've never seen her in person. But she comes across as completely sincere. I don't think people can keep an act up for long. I know some people have a false public persona, like George W. Bush. Apparently his public image is an affectation. The only person I know who's ever met him has told me that, that um, George W. Bush cannily realised that coming across as a bit dim appealed to a vital demographic for uh, the Republican Party. Anyway, Mrs. Obama, she's the complete opposite of Trump. She's dignified, she's um, in self-control without being too restrained, she's not frosty. Uh, she said that she was pilloried as an angry black woman by the media. She doesn't come across as being at all <clears throat> furious to me. So, will she go for the presidency? Though she's certainly got opinions, thinking children should have decent food to eat at school. Um, she doesn't seem to want the top job for herself, not wanting to be president. Perhaps she's had enough of the media spotlight. She's kept a fairly low profile since they left the White House. Now, of course, she could go for the presidency, could go for it next time. I don't think she will do that. Um, she doesn't need to be in Congress at all first. Um, famously, Trump had never contested public office before he was elected to the top job. Um, I don't think she'll do it, partly because, as I say, she's not evinced any wish to do it. She's got plenty of time to do it. She's not that, that old, only just over 50, and Trump was elected age 70. It's a greying society. But um, uh, it's more difficult to get in there without having held another position, like the governorship or being a senator. Moreover, the public may well have had enough of political dynasties. Hillary Clinton, well, the Clintons, some people who were sick of Bill Clinton, they had bad memories of him, and that was one of the reasons that actuated some people to vote for the GOP, who otherwise wouldn't have bothered, because they so abominated Hillary Clinton. I don't think that uh, Michelle Obama's got such high negatives. Another thing is, I don't think she's at all dishonest. I don't know of any lies that she's ever told, whereas Hillary Clinton's certainly very mendacious. Um, so there was, the, there was the Bush father and son, and again, some people think uh, that was too much. Jeb Bush didn't come anywhere near getting the Republican nomination. Perhaps that's why, that he was one of the more credible candidates when they were casting around. Trump is very nepotistic, appointing his daughter, his son-in-law, his son, to uh, high positions so within the White House. Now, the fact that one's related to a president shouldn't disbar somebody from holding a high position, but they shouldn't be appointed simply because they hold the high position. As was said of Robert Kennedy, uh, his candidacy, were his name not Kennedy, would be ridiculous. Um, but anyway, there might be a prejudice going the other way. Now, <clears throat> it was quite something for Barack Obama to be elected president as an African-American when there's a considerable amount of racism towards black people amongst whites. Um, Hillary Clinton did well to win the popular vote as a, whim as a woman. I don't think there's much... Um, anti-female prejudice, not, not in politics, maybe in other um, walks of life, but for Barack, not Barack Obama, for Michelle Obama as a black person and a woman, maybe that would be just too much and there'd be, uh, there'd be too much hostility to her for those, for those reasons. I think she could do it, but I think she's unlikely to go for it and would suffer a few disadvantages because people would always be harking back to her president's record, her, her husband's record. Actually, when he left office, he had very high poll ratings. But nevertheless, they might bring some people out of the woodwork who otherwise wouldn't bother casting a vote simply because they're spiteful towards the uh, Obama family. So I think she did a superb job as First Lady, 
was very gracious, very presentable, completely unlike Melania, who seems to have never had an original thought in her life. Um, it would, is a pity that I don't think she will become Commander-in-Chief, and I think the world would be better, much better off if she did.